So I haven't uploaded a video in a month, and honestly, what is new on this channel? So I'm gonna try and upload two videos. Hmm. That. Is, that, is that fair? So in today's video, we're gonna be all about simplicity. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some pretty nice trap beats, but make it simple. But we're gonna stick to three main things. Dirty melodies, ass clapping drums, and arrangement. And if you have those three things unlocked, you can pump out three to four fire beats a day, in my opinion. Also, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. If you wanna follow me, link is in the description. And I also changed my Instagram name. I'm no longer proud by my rip to rip to a legend. I'm now just oh my 4 x or oh my 4 times, whatever you guys wanna call it. Enough with the nonsense, let's, let's do this. All right, boys, feels good to be back, feels good to be home. So basically, every time I start a beat, the first thing I start to think of is the BPM. So nowadays, I'd say artists are mostly looking for beats that are from 140 BPM to 160. So I'm gonna do that just being halftime. So basically the same thing, just divided by two. All right, so since we are in halftime, I'm gonna go for 87. Now this is gonna be very fast, but it's in halftime, so you have to keep that in mind. So for this beat, I already have two melodies already loaded up, and we're only gonna use two melodies because we're trying to keep it, keep it simple. So I have just a piano. Pretty basic and like a little woodwind instrument. So to begin with the melody, most of the time what I do is I pull up a scale. If you don't know how to do this, just follow along. Click this. Let's bring up a harmonic scale, minor harmonic, whatever, and let's do F. And I just kind of go like this. Make sure I drag it everywhere. If you guys watch my melody videos, this should probably be kind of similar. All right. So now we have a scale loaded up. So now you won't be out of key and won't just be clicking random things in. You'll know what you'll be doing. Now that we have my melody, I like to like fiddle around on my MIDI. Just figure out the scale a little bit, see what sounds good, see what I like. My MIDI is actually right there. I'm just gonna kind of like. Pretty good first chord right there. Ooh. Okay. So for my melodies, I always like to start with the chords first and then layer top melodies over it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and layer that down real quick. There we go. All right, now that we got the chords down, I like to just let that play on repeat while I just freestyle a top melody over it, so. Ooh. Oh, I think we got it. Hold up. Let's try and run that back one more time. Okay, that sounded good. Let's go ahead and click that in. Now for my top melodies, I like to switch it to none and kind of just drag them off a bit to make it sound less robotic. Alright, so now we got the bass of the melody and I just have this... I'm gonna go ahead and just play the melody I played. Alright, so now that we have that down, I like to get into the processing, and this is very, very important if you want your melodies to sound like sample quality and just really distinct and nice. So, what I like to do is I start with an EQ. Kind of taking out some of the lows. Then I run it through a kind of tape machine type effect. Then I like to add some reverb. Nothing too harsh. That's fine right there. Now we can add a bit of detuning and make it sound a bit more gritty. And next I just like to add a little compression to it and that should be it. So this is without effects and I'm just gonna turn it on midway so you can see the difference. It just makes it sound kind of like a sample, and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that process on the second melody we have. Alright, now I'm going to record into Edison. Pretty basic stuff right now. And what I like to do with most of my melodies is bounce it like four or five times, so I'll pitch it once, record it again, pitch it again, record it again, repeat the process, and yeah. So now let's just go ahead and like uh, pitch it up a little bit, maybe? Let 
maybe a little down. Actually, I'll pitch it up. Maybe. That sounds fire to me. So now I'm going to re record into Edison, like I said. So go ahead and reset this. Record that. Now we can throw it into Fruity Slicer where we're going to probably chop it up and pitch it again. Now that we got that, I'm going to go ahead and chop it up on my keyboard here and just see what sounds good to me. That right there sounds dirty, so let's just go ahead and loop that and just kind of change it up a little bit at the end. All right, that right there is perfect. Now we got the final sample we are going to be using. Hopefully, if I don't want to stretch it again. Okay, should be the final one. And there you go. You got that melody that just makes you do the... The stank face, you know what I'm saying? So for me personally, if the melody I make makes me do that face, then I know I have something good there. So now we can do the fun part, which are yeah, the drums. We got the drums. So we're going to go for something simple, but something that's going to make you clap your ass. So, so if you guys want the drums that I'm going to be using in this video, it can be found in the description in my kit. And also expect a new kit on the way soon. I'm working on that as we speak. So yeah, let's just grab a hat, kind of get some bounce going. Grab a kick. Let's go ahead and grab a nice 808. So I want the 808 to be a little kind of short like that. That's cool. Now we got the drums down, we can go ahead and um, start layering this so in the beginning of the video i said it's going to be three things ass clapping drums fire melodies and arrangement so you want to make sure your arrangement is also good as well so go ahead and like gross beat the intro i know i had like a little sub bass for the intro so this sound could also be found in my drum kit So you see how right there, I didn't just make the drums hit immediately. I kind of offset it a bit. So when it comes in, it kind of catches you off guard. So that's another key thing you have to realize when you're arranging. It just makes everything a little bit more interesting. I just have the 808 part coming right here. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you liked the beat. I hope you found it entertaining. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Also, any of the drum sounds used in this video, including that sub bass I use and all that good stuff can be found in the description in my drum kit. Also, follow me on Instagram at omi4x. Oh I'm be trying to be more consistent on here. I apologize for uh, going so ghost on you guys. My bad. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and peace.